prayers for Ascension Day. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we've been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers. Trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule let us hear the story of his parting. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Seeing that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name, the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the collect for today. Let us pray. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and for ever. Amen. And a tiny little bit of the Gospel, the ending of God, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, where Jesus says, Go and make disciples of all nations. Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Well, today is Ascension Day. It's an almost forgotten festival, which is a shame, isn't it? Ascension Day is one of the more overlooked holidays of the Christian calendar. It doesn't fall on a Sunday. There are no disciplines of preparation ahead of it. No rites of celebration on the day to usher it in. Fewer and fewer churches remember it, let alone hold Thursday services. It's no wonder I, and so many others, tend to forget all about it. Yet it's worth retaining and remembering because 
Ascension Day reminds us that we cannot limit God. For while God came to us in the flesh in the person of Jesus, Jesus' ascension reminds us that we can't restrict God to any one place. And Jesus' ascension isn't just about his leaving his disciples, us, the world, but rather is about the simultaneous confession that God has chosen to be located in our physical world so that God may be accessible to us. And secondly, God refuses to be limited even to these important places. No building, no people, no book, no religion. None of those things can limit God's ability to be accessible to others. That's a good message to ponder on in these times, isn't it? as we are prevented from worshipping together in our well-loved and our sacred buildings. We feel bereft and are miss missing worshipping together in the physical presence of others. But God is still here, still hears our prayers and our praises. Let's continue to praise and praise because God is good and shows us this by giving us Jesus. Ascension Day also marks the start of Thy Kingdom Come, a worldwide prayer initiative. And our challenge for this time until Pentecost is to pray for five people. Think of five people who you would like God to see God work in their lives. That they may know God's love for them in Christ. Just five people. We can all do that. We can all name five. Pray for them each day. Pray that God would work in their lives. There is some daily prayer for thy kingdom come. There's a little booklet they produce. You can find it on the website www.thykingdomcome.global. There's all sorts of resources. So give it a try. Who knows what God may do for those five people. So let's turn to prayer. Let us pray. Let's join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus Christ, great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us. Pray for the Church, your broken body in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high, pray for the world, make it subject to your gentle rule. And as we're all affected by coronavirus, we pray for all those who've been touched by this dreadful disease for the changes that we're all having to make in our lives, in our world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress or sorrow. And we bring to God those in need of our prayers this day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection, surround with your saints and angels, those who have died trusting your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord of all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe. Pray for us who receive the gifts you give us for work in your service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, 
and bring the whole created order to worship at your, at your feet. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And a blessing. May the Spirit who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you with me, with all of us, and remain with us always. Amen. Waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.